Wait, so had you guys met before that game? Because I was going to ask about your first impression. So that was the mm-hmm. first time. That was the first. Were you were you going at it? Were you talking? Nah, Davey and I don't talk, first of all. And I don't really say anything unless I'm talked to. So no, there wasn't much chirping, but it was definitely a competition. Yeah, I mean, we were competing against each other, but not much talking to it. I, I would say we wasn't talking because throughout the whole game, we was kind of like winning the whole game. So it could have been like... <laughs> I, I feel like I feel like Tyrese couldn't really say anything because like we were like killing them throughout the whole game. I'm not gonna lie. What is we this were, right now? We were. I'm not gonna lie. We were the games we played y'all. We played our best. They did. We they did. did. We did. We played our best when we played y'all. That's a fact. I saw a great uh, little graphic on Stat Muse Twitter today um, with Dame and Donovan Mitchell's uh, shooting stats when guarded by Davion. Um, what's going through your mind as a rookie, your first two games and getting matched up against those two guys? Oh, I would say, <clears throat> Dame, what was going through my mind is like, don't let him shoot this deep ball. Like, <laughs> do not let him get going. Um, he was like off throughout the whole, like the beginning of the game, he was off. Like he didn't, he didn't really find a shot throughout the game. So I was like, don't let him hit this deep ball so he can get going. It just makes him harder to guard. <clears throat> And as far as, I mean, guarding Donovan, I mean, he's just like a strong, faster, get downhill guy. The type of guys I, I like guarding. I love guarding guys that you love off the ISOs, off the balance. I, I, I love guarding those people because I can like – people. also my teammates loaded up. Like throughout the whole game, you see my teammates loaded up. But guarding guys like Steph would probably be a challenge for me because Tyrese knows off ball is kind of not like my best, my best thing. So that's going to be that's gonna be a challenge for me. <laughs> I want to ask you about Steph in a second. Uh, in terms of where you're at right now defensively and picking up sort of uh, game plan stuff and schemes, how much are you relying on instinct and your own sort of natural ability versus um, sort of relying on scouting reports and and whatever the, the scheme is that night? Relying on it heavy. I mean, it's kind of because throughout the game, you're not really thinking about it. Like, I know last night, as we was playing, I was guarding down. I wasn't thinking about, yo, he likes going right. It was kind of like, I'm going to do, like, I'm going to do what I have to do to stay in front of him. It wasn't really like, like, the scouting report is he's heavy, drive right, make him go left. You know what I'm saying? So it was like, I wasn't thinking about that. I was just kind of, like, relying on my instincts and just trying to stay in front of him throughout that game. Terry's, what were you thinking? What were you thinking when you were sort of watching this? Because we've talked with you a bunch on the show about your adjustment last year to the, you know, just to the league versus even the high level in, in college. So like when you're watching him, you know, D these guys up who you've had to guard a lot, what are you thinking? Uh, well, for, I mean, I, I, it's, it's an enjoyment to watch, like just loving the game of basketball to see two guys go at it, no matter who it is. Uh, uh, my biggest thing defensively is not trying to get stuck and watching the one-on-one game because next thing you know, like my guy back cuts got a layup. You know what I'm saying? So I'm just trying to stay as engaged as possible, show hands as best as possible because I know, you know, more than likely D's going to be able to stay in front, you know, the majority of the time. So, you know, for me, it's like when there's two seconds and I'm close to him and dudes get turned his back to the basket, go double with high hands or whatever the case may be. Uh, cause I, I have faith that Davion is going to keep him in, in front for the majority of the time. 